So this is debatably kind of a different video for this channel. Um, I don't really normally do that many videos that hopefully foster discussion on this channel. Um, in all disclosure, if this video seems long, it's because I have had a little bit to drink. Um, I got some fairly stressful news about a certain family member in my family uh, earlier this evening. I'm filming this at the beginning, literally the very beginning of February. And by the time this goes up, I'm hoping for just good news with that family member. But as one of my ways of coping with it after a decently long and oddly scheduled work day, I did have a little bit to drink. Um, but that's besides the point. To get to the matter at hand, one thing that I really want to talk about that I don't really feel gets enough attention in the community, and if you guys want to promote the crap out of this video, please do so. Um, but I'm just literally throwing this out there at 11.35, roughly on a Monday night, is the fact that there seems to be and this actually kind of ties into a video that Vega Death recently posted on happiness and collecting. Um, there seems to be this focus on, and here we go with the signs that I've had a little bit to drink. There seems to be this focus on having a new toy every 30 seconds, almost. Or like every day in the week, pretty much. And I will fully admit, since I've been a collector since 2007, since right after the first live action movie came out and then animated and all the lines since, I have had the worst time budgeting Transformers into my life. There's been so many times where I've gone over on my spending for the month or whatever because I've bought so many Transformers that month in addition to my other purchases, the essentials, and music, and stuff like that. One thing that I've really taken it upon myself to do so far this year in 2016, and we're not even a month and a half in yet, arguably, I have no idea when this is going up, is taking the time really, to appreciate each figure that I get. And not just saying, oh, look, I bought, just to use a mainline release for an example, Combiner Wars Brawl recently. Okay, he's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and immediately buy another figure. I'm really kind of more consciously taking the time to appreciate each figure that I buy for what it is. Be it a mainline first party release like Combiner Wars Brawl here, who honestly I find a lot of charm in, in spite of his flaws, and he has a few very glaring flaws, if you ask me. Or a third party release, like my most recent purchase, to be perfectly transparent, Bad Cube's Sun Search, who literally came today, February 1st, and I have not transformed once as of this filming. I literally got him out of the packaging and then had to head to work for the day because the nature of my schedule this day dictated that I needed to leave pretty much right after I opened Sun Surge up here from his packaging. So again, as of this filming, I haven't transformed him once. I got this figure off of the strength of recommendations from people like Darth Devious and Theo who said, yeah, the transformation is annoying and fiddly at first, but you definitely get the hang of it after a couple transformations. I hated the transformation on Bad Cube's War Dog. I ended up selling their not a uh, masterpiece Warpath almost as soon as I got it because that figure was just not fun to me. And I'm legitimately hoping that... As much as I don't really have an attachment to Sunstreaker as a character, because he is a bit too vain for my tastes, that Sun Surge here will win me back over 
and will make me not immediately pass on anything that Bad Cube does going forward. But that being said, mail came around, I want to say 11 this morning before I had to head to pick up the work car for work. That's another detail that I don't want to get into in this video. And I had enough time to open up Sun Search here. I'm just gonna call him Sun Streaker for the rest of this video. And had I had the time to transform him, I probably would have. But having the extra time to sit and appreciate this alt mode for what it is has really made me like this figure in spite of whatever frustration I will have with the transformation initially when I go to do it, be it tomorrow or later this week. This is just a really nicely done alt mode. And to jump back to a first party release, I would argue it's the same case here with Brawl. Both his modes are really freaking good. Yeah, there's some flaws here. You've got the piddly and arguably derpy forearms, including one that doesn't really fully tab in for alt mode, which I know is the same problem that a lot of people have had. And you have this weird hip situation going on here as I move the wrong hand, but whatever. But you know, there's a, there's just a charm to brawl here that I really like. And I feel like if I had just gotten him, transformed him a couple times, and then put him on my shelf over that way. Boom, shakalaka. That I would have just forgotten about him. But right now, he's on my display right behind my camera where I'm pumping this right now. At now 11.40 on a Monday night. And... I don't know, I just feel like having the mindset where I really take the time to really appreciate each figure that I get for what it is has really curbed my want to buy the next piece of plastic crack. Hell, I even did the same thing with Combiner Wars slash Titan Returns because I have no idea which line he's supposed to be in Shockwave here. He came out early at the end of last year, and I finally managed to get him about halfway through January after he sold out initially, and this figure right now, just because I've had the opportunity to wait and then get him and then mess around with him a lot, honestly might be in my top whatever of 2016. This is probably one of my favorite figures that I've gotten in quite some time. Just because he's that damn good. Um, at some point I may end up doing an in-depth review on him. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah. And honestly, it's the same way with even a figure that I got on a recommendation from the WTF at TFW podcast. R.I.D. 2015 Fracture here. And I know I said in the initial Quick Hits video... I didn't see the point in that other handle here, but I kind of like the underslung blunderbuss aesthetic now. Um, but yeah, R.I.D. 2015 Fracture, Warrior Class. Wasn't expecting to really like this figure as much as I do, even with Vangelis' recommendation of him. But holy shit, is this a fun deluxe. Um, he really hits... Basically everything that I wanted the R.I.D. 2015 toy line to hit. And I've been almost completely out on that toy line. So this all really connects back, even though I've only shown really one third-party figure in this entire video, to this overarching point of... As I knock three things over... Take the time to appreciate each figure that you get, and you'll appreciate a little bit more and not want to buy the next thing. So, yeah. Anyhow, if you want to do a response, go ahead and do one. Um, 
just wanted to throw this out there for some brain fuel for you guys to think about this week. Anyhow, thanks for listening to me ramble for about 10 minutes. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, whatever that happens to be. I'm Phoenix, and I am Audi 5000. I'm totally stealing that from somebody else, but I don't care.